Hello everybody, and welcome to my simple guide for getting started in the world of 3D printing. So, you're new to 3D printing and have no idea what to do. You're not the only one. Maybe you bought the printer as an impulse purchase, or thought that it would be a lot simpler than it is. Or perhaps you got one as a present and don't know where to start. However you got there, this inclusive guide should cover all the basics to get you printing in no time. If you already know some parts, then skip ahead using the time codes in the description for what you need help with. Step 1. Buy a printer. For the sake of brevity, I'm going to assume you already have yourself a printer, and that it is an FDM, not a resin printer, as I personally have no experience with these, but I would like to get one in the future and create guides for those as well. Your lovely printer is now sitting ready at the desk. You've followed the instructions that came with it to get the filament loaded in. This is different between each printer, so I'm going to hope you work this bit out yourself. And hopefully you've had a little play and a poke through the controls to heat it up and extrude a bit of filament manually. For my printer, the Anycubic i3 Mega, you do this by feeding the filament through the extruder and into the Bowden tube. Then navigate to Tools, Filament, and Filament In. This will then heat up the hot end, and when it is up to temperature, start turning the gears of the extruder to push the material through the hot end and out of the nozzle. It is necessary to do this with the hot end raised above the bed, as doing this whilst the nozzle is making contact with the bed will either jam your nozzle, damage the print bed, or strip the gears. To be on the safe side and to view the extruded filament, I raise it to about 100mm above the level of the bed. Now. You've got your printer, and stuck your 3D file on a memory card with eager anticipation of owning a physical copy of that digital model of a box you made, only to see nothing show up when you try to print it. This is because you first need to convert the model into a file called a G-code, which slices the model into individual lines of instructions that tell your printer how to make it. I like to use Cura as my slicer. It's free, quick to learn, and makes the whole process incredibly easy. Plus, it's constantly updated with loads of new features, some of which greatly improve your printer's efficiency. What you're going to want to do is head over to ultimaker.com forward slash software and download Ultimaker Cura. Once installed, you need to set it to your printer. So go to Settings, Printer, Add Printer, Add a non-networked printer, then go through the list and find your printer. Wonderful, it's all set up. Now you'll want to click the big file icon and load in your 3D model. We'll start out with a nice test for your printer to see how calibrated it is. So head over to thingiverse.com and download Benchy, the cute little benchmark boat test. On the right hand side is a drop down with loads of settings which may look daunting at first. We're just going to focus on the basics today. Under quality, set your layer height to 0.25 and the initial layer height to 0.4. At this point, you may notice that I have different options in the settings to yourself. This is because, by default, Cura hides some of the more complicated settings. These could all be enabled by clicking on the sliders next to settings. However, for now, you won't need to use any of these. Under walls, set the wall line count to 3. Next, head to infill and set the infill density to 15%. At this point, I'm going to assume that you're printing with PLA, as it's the easiest material to get started with. So, under the Material tab, set the print temperature to 200 degrees C, and the bill plate temperature to 85. Then head to the Support tab, and make sure Generate Support is disabled. Support is used to print models which have overhangs, as your printer cannot print in thin air. Now, finally, navigate to Build Plate Adhesion, and set it to Skirt, with a line count of 1, and a distance of 10 millimeters. Click Slice. With my settings on the printer, it will take about 48 minutes to print. However, this time may vary for yourself as I have some additional settings changed. Save the file to your memory card and plug it into your printer. Turn the printer on, locate the file, and click print. And expect it to fail. If you're lucky, the filament will adhere to the bed and you'll get a lovely print right from the get-go. More realistically, however, your print bed won't be level and you'll need to take a few minutes getting it level. So let's go through a quick guide for this for those who don't have an auto-leveling bed. What you're going to want to do next is preheat your nozzle and bed to 285 degrees respectively, and tell your printers to home all axes. Next, take a sheet of paper and slide it between the nozzle and the bed. There should be just enough space for the paper to slide under the nozzle, 
but narrow enough that you can feel the nozzle loosely gripping the paper when you move it back and forth. Repeat this step at each corner of the bed, using the knobs attached to the corners to raise or lower the bed as required. Once you're happy with how it feels, try printing the file again. Hopefully, this time it works. If it again fails, you can download a bed level test file from Thingiverse and print that to get a more accurate depiction of where your bed is out of level. I've put a link to one in the description below. And that's everything you need to know to get started with 3D printing. This is of course a very basic tutorial as I could spend hours going over each of the steps that I've covered in the space of a few minutes here. So I hope you'll stick around for more in-depth guides on how to print everything from your simple box to a flexible TPU embedded in fabric for the perfect cosplay armor. I'll also be covering all of the side jobs related to the hobby, such as priming and painting your prints as well. For now, that's all from me. I've been Lauren from Tech Overhaul, and I'll see you next time.